Welcome back. We are Two Finger Spirits. How are you, camera guy? Well, bar looks different. Bar is different, isn't it? Yep. My good old buddy, the camera guy, is moving, moving far away from me. On the street. Taking the live studio audience with him. <sighs> but now I got a bar. Show must go on. The show must go on. Did you hear a fat lady sing? <laughs> What'd you say about my mama? <laughs> so, uh, you know, things are a little busy. Things are changing. So we might end up doing just uh, one or two videos a month for, for a little while, maybe till summertime. I've started a new job. I'm second shift. Camera shy camera guy. He's, uh, you know, on the corner every day working hard. Very hard. So. What, what we got today? It's a kind of a celebration type bottle. What we got? So this is an allocated bottle. This is from Michter's Distillery, right? All right. And this is a Kentucky straight bourbon by the name of Bomberger's Declaration. What? what? I'm sorry, what? Bomberger's Declaration. All right. Tell me about it. Uh, it's 108 proof. Okay. It's named after because the, the there was a guy, he was a Mennonite uh, farmer, and his name was John Schenk, and he opened the distillery, you know, at the perfect time, right at the beginning of the Civil War, in Pennsylvania. And then an event, he called it Schenk's uh, Distillery, and then eventually changed it to Bromberger's, and then Michter's bought it, and huh. it became Michter's, and it was in Philadelphia. So this has or, been around. Or was it Philadelphia? Pennsylvania. It was in Pennsylvania. And uh, then, you know, then, of course, Michter's moved to Kentucky, uh, you know, because they, they closed, I think, the distillery in Pennsylvania in the 1990s and then opened the one up in, in Kentucky, I believe, right? All yeah. right. So, uh, yeah, Bromberger's. We have a mash bill on from, this thing? From Pennsylvania. That's where David Bromberg is from Pennsylvania. He's a folk musician. No mash bill. What? Ah, I don't like when we get the mash bill. A portion of this bourbon is aged in Chinookapuin oak. Oh, yeah? Now, that'd be exciting if you knew what that oak was, wouldn't it? Yeah. Do you know what that oak is? No, but I thought a guy like you would know it's wood. Um, it's got a nice nose. I don't know the mash bill. It doesn't have an age statement. Hmm. It's a hundred and... I, we got it for 125. On the internet, I've seen it anywhere from 80 to like 320. Insane. So, we, Crazy Eddie, these prices are insane. Remember Crazy Eddie? No. Oh. Crazy Eddie, his prices are insane. Uh, 108 proof. This is bottle 1,353 out of 2,020 bottles. So I only released 2,020. Wow, so glad we got one of them. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, we got it for a decent price, 125. You know, we don't like to spend over 100. I feel like we're always disappointed when we do that. Yeah, I really feel like we are too. I mean, there's so many good bottles that are, you know, in that 60 to 90 range, right? Anytime I go over 100, uh... You expect more. But let's talk about it. Yeah. yeah. More importantly, you know what we should do? We should did we cover it. all our bases on no age statement, yeah, no mash it. bill? I think everyone really wants to know with colors now. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. I thought we were going to discontinue that portion no, of the show. And a dark one today all the way here under the bar. We're at a 1.7, a burnt... Umber, a nice dark one. What do you think? Let's Brian? taste it. Okay. I think we're gonna have to get the, a big, nice white background for me to do my segment on. You know, I believe when Michter's closed their Pennsylvania distillery in 1990, they were the oldest distillery at the time. Oh yeah. 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 So that's a nice mahogany, huh? Nope. All right. It's a burnt umber, 1.7. Mmm. It's got a really nice nose. It smells. I get a lot of figs, some brown Excellent. sugar. Maybe a little leather. I get like, I'm telling you, I get like a spree. You know, the candies, the sprees. Yeah, really? Yeah, like a sweetness to it. Hmm. Yeah, I get the fig, brown sugar, leather, a little bit of earthiness. Um, it smells fantastic. Tiny bit of ethanol. 108 proof is nice. I like anything over 100 proof and anything under $100. Well, so, one out of two is not bad. One out of two, you meatloaf. <laughs> Let's go for it. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Starts off with a nice cherry leather. Yeah. Starts off really, really strong and good. I got some nice cherry. Um, 
some burnt sugar. After that burnt sugar, that cherry kind of turns to like an art, like an artificial cherry for me. I'm getting like a tobacco on, on the end there. Yeah? Yeah. I get a little bit of chocolate in there. Mm. It's kind of nice. The finish kind of opens up with a little bit of a burn and a little bit of cinnamon. A little more cinnamon than I like in my profile. It's a little bit more cinnamon than I like. It's not overwhelming right. cinnamon, but, you know, it, I, I, I don't mind a little bit of cinnamon on my... You know, my Wild Turkey 101. I could do without cinnamon in my bourbon. Well, profile, in my Pet yeah. Price bourbons, I, I could do without cinnamon. Yeah, you know, you're, if you're going to get, uh, you know, Old Grand at 114, you're going to expect some cinnamon. Yeah. Um, this, I would, I would hope it was a little bit more refined. But, uh... Yeah. I think it's not bad. It's not bad. But it's, I don't know why people are chasing it. You know, and I, I we got this at Frank's. We love going to Frank's. And Matt was like, we were going to save this and release it during the holidays. Our, you know, our rep said, you know, this is an allocated bottle. You're going to want it. And I, I really, I'd never heard of it. Have you guys heard of this bottle? Um, I guess they released this uh, in the fall yearly from the Michter's Distillery. They do this one that's 108 proof, the Bromberg's uh, Declaration. And then they also do a uh, Schenck's, uh, what do you call it, Sour Mash. And I haven't heard of either of them, but doing a little research on this, I, I, I heard that they've kind of released them in tandem like that. Mm. And, uh, you know, I like Michter's. That Michter's uh, rye that we had, that's, that barrel proof. One, I, that might be my favorite of the year. So far, that's the whiskey of the year for me. That, that was, and it's the same same distillery, right? Yeah, I mean, that that's what I'm beginning to understand about it anyways. So, yeah, could be wrong. Uh, you know, for $125. I wouldn't buy it again for $125. I won't buy next year's release. Not for that uh, price. No. Like, it's it's good, but it's not $125 good. It's, I've had better $40 bottles, I think. I agree. I agree. I, I like the rare breed, uh, barrel strength better than this. Much better. I'm a this. little disappointed. I'm, a, I'm a, yeah, I'm definitely underwhelmed. I'm, I'm but disappointed. But I think that's the problem with buying bottles over $100. You're expecting so much out of them, and then they never really deliver. Right. They're not better than your $65 SBVP. Right. I mean, we had that Calumet 14. Which I, this kind of reminded me of. Yeah, it does. Like, it's a letdown. We had the Kentucky Owl. Letdown. Yeah, it was really let down. So, I mean, we've said it before and we'll say it again. Don't chase allocated bottles. No. You know, this, this the, the guy at the store. Let us do it for I'm you. so thankful that he did it because, you know, I like, I, I like trying new whiskeys and uh, this was a... A good one to try and it's not a bad whiskey by any means but it's not worth the money i'd rather have two bottles of sbvp Ooh, i like the sbvp i picked this one up while i was there why is it, why is it so a small? little pony where is it huh oh there it is and i think the next one we're up upcoming we're gonna try this one yellowstone all right which I believe has nothing to do with that television series that is uh, so popular. Everyone nowadays. keeps talking about it. I haven't seen the it series yet. or the whiskey. The series. I hear everyone talking about the series and this whiskey. I think you have that Premium Plus. I don't have it. Anyway, do you have a quote for today? I do. I have a great quote. I'm really excited about this one. This is from your friend Mark Twain. You know Mark Twain? I know Samuel Clemens. Oh, that guy. They were the yeah. one that they named those little orange things, the Clementines, after him, right? I call him Sammy. Oh, Sammy. Yeah, Sammy. Hey, Sammy. What's his quote? He says, it's easier to fool people than it is to convince them that they have been fooled. Ooh. That guy was smart. Yeah. Well, everyone, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate your support. We look forward to talking whiskey with you every week or every month or whenever we can get together. Join us again next time. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.